taster. But today, I'm not tasting. I am actually cooking, you guys. And if you haven't liked that, hit that. If you haven't hit that like button, feel free to hit that and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep updated with my most recent videos and updates that I have. <laughs> so today, um, um, today is what you call Thanksgiving Eve. I am prepping my Thanksgiving meal for tomorrow. As you know, this is the most family oriented time of the year, excluding Christmas. Um, so this is my first Thanksgiving by myself. I'm using a couple of my mom's recipes, which I do and don't remember. I have to keep calling her, but that's all right. So um, today, I right now, what I'm doing is prepping my collard greens. I already uh, rolled them up and cut them really pretty here in this pot that I love. It cooks very slow. It's like a crock pot, but on the stove. Um, here it has some fresh uh, diced garlic and turkey necks. So I'm going to show you in a few minutes of how everything looks and where I started so far. My kitchen looks a mess though, so don't judge me. And so before I cut up the greens and I put them in the pie and do my next step, what I did here, this is just not water. It is um, vinegar and water. I soaked them overnight. And then I lay them out right here, it's dry, and I roll them up and cut them. And this is how they looked before, and that's how they turned out. Over here is just some ingredients that I use. Um, I put butter and grapeseed oil in the pan. Um, this is the ingredients for my mac and cheese. And that's the fresh garlic cloves I used. I diced a few of them. And since they didn't have smoked turkey necks, I had to get the raw ones, which is fine. Just add a little more flavor to it. So I just put um, some butter, grapeseed oil, and garlic in the pan. I'm going to let this brown before I put the greens in there because I want that all the flavor that's in this pan to get inside of the turkey neck so it can be inside of the greens once I finish. And that's where I started so far. So um, I just so proud of myself, guys, because I actually did a good job on this for my first time it looks like a bushel right now but when it's finished i'm gonna tell you it's going to be worth it worth this hard work that i put into these greens i'm a little lazy so i don't feel like cutting on my cutting board so i'm cutting here and i'm cutting the garlic and i'm gonna dice it Oh, I see. Really pretty. Really pretty, y'all. Then we're going to put this in pain. <laughs> put it in the pan. 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 The greens in the pot now because the turkey necks are brown as I would like them. The garlic is a little brown. It smells amazing in here. I know the whole apartment complex can smell it. It's making them hungry and crave Thanksgiving right now. So um I'm gonna put these greens in here, making a mess, but it's all dry. It's all loving, baby. I got nothing but love for you, baby. I got nothing but love. So, putting these greens in here, all love. Smells amazing. So, what I basically did when I put the um, greens in the water, I tenderized the, the greens before I actually cooked them so that it can cook faster. And so it tastes a little better and tender. That's where you get that tenderness taste from the collard greens. If you ever went to a soul food restaurant or somewhere, that's what, you know, that's how they make, usually sometimes they make their greens. I've learned from the best, two best people in my whole entire life. My grandmama, 
and my mommy <laughs> they both taught me how to make these greens um in southern food my grandmother was originally from rocky mountain north carolina so she you know she learned from the best of the best um and then she took what she knew and taught it to my mom and my mom taught it to me they both both taught it to me as i got older and i'm just taking on their recipes and doing it myself today so i'm going to continue to add these greens in here them in round circles almost like a cinnamon roll I feel like it just cooks better that way I didn't um, chuck the greens because I feel like every part of the green is edible so you might as well eat the whole thing as long as it's clean and to your liking pause on this i need to take care of my finger all right y'all don't mind me good morning it's day two of this thanksgiving cooking y'all i'm tired it is right now 7 30 i woke up super early i should have woke up at six but I, I couldn't roll over so right now um i am boiling the rest of the sweet potatoes like i was supposed to do yesterday <laughs> and i'm boiling the sweet potatoes i'm making my little fur baby candy i want to pick her up right now because i just finished washing my hands um i'm making her boiled chicken and rice she's gonna have her own thanksgiving meal too so i have here the cornbread that i use i use jiffy i always add a little bit of oil to mine because i don't like mine to be really uh thick and i and even though it says add milk i add water and it just it turns out better for me um I add a little bit of both milk and water. So right now I'm just mixing. Let's turn it in. I don't measure y'all. If you haven't seen, I don't measure my cornbread measurements.
like to do this to get all the lumps and bumps out. So I'm using my muscles. You can see my, my arm is pretty thick right there. This is the consistency that I like of my my cornbread. I'm gonna actually make cornbread muffins. Um, the reason why I like it like this is just I don't know, it's just easier, you know, and it's easier to bite into. It's not like cakey. And then um, that's why I add a little bit of water, and I also added milk too. And I use my favorite jiffy. Um, so let's lift you guys up here. Oh my goodness. I'm in my oven. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this muffin pan just for me. So Here, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan. Let me show you this. Don't fall, please. All right, so I'm just adding a little oil here. So I'm just circling it around so I can get every inch. I'm use my finger too, because I want it. I want it not to stick. There it goes that. All right, I'm gonna use a little spoon. I'm gonna use just a little spoon, just to scoop it in here. Cause I don't like making a mess. I'm not trying to clean up like I was doing yesterday cause I was super, super duper tired just from doing that. I'm doing is taking a spoon since I put the oil here. I'm putting it in this muffin pan just enough. I don't want the muffins to be over the top of the, the circle of the um the pan. I 
I want it just to be an actual muffin. A perfect size muffin. Voila, there we go. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 minutes until they get brown, I guess, and check up on them again. I forgot to tell you guys that, I forgot to make, make a mac and cheese on here. Like I said before, I was so exhausted, girl. I was so exhausted from um, making the mac and cheese. So, what I did, let me just tell you, while we're waiting for these corn muffins to bake. Um, what I did was, I uh, boiled the macaroni, put a little salt in the water, because I like my macaroni to have a taste, flavor to it. Then, I used heavy cream and half and half milk, right? So I have that sitting to the side while I'm boiling my macaroni. Boil the macaroni, put it inside of the strainer, run some cold water over it. Put some Once the water is drained out, then put some butter and some olive oil on there or grape seeds, what I love to use. Um, mix it in there, mix it in there, then put it inside of the foil pan. You should put it foil inside the foil pan, then you use the, um, uh, I use three because I've made a big pan. So I did three eggs and um evaporated milk of course and then i mix it with my fork stir it in stir it in mm -hmm. and then i put it inside the macaroni uh foil pan once i put it inside the foil pan then i mix it in mix it in mix it in with a little spoon the macaroni okay make sure it's evenly combined with all the macaroni noodles that's inside of that pan once i do that then I am in the stove while I'm doing that. On the stove, I had the half and half in the heavy cream mix with some butter, just a pinch of salt because you don't want the mac and cheese to be too salty. It'd be look, look all pretty and be salty. We got time for that. So you put that in there, and then you put the your cheeses. What I chose was mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, white sharp cheddar, and my favorite Kobe Jack. I put Kobe Jack in there. Put shredded cubes. Whatever your choices you could do. As long as it's those those cheeses. Put that in there. Make the cheese sauce. Make it real thick. Make it real pretty. I could smell the richness of all the cheeses in there now. It was so good. Put that in there. Okay. Once that's all melted and pretty, and you put it inside of your cheese, your macaroni, your macaroni noodles. And you put that in there, my honey. You just put the cheese sauce in there, you mix it, you mix it, you mix it, right? Then you use your little cubes that you cut previously from the sharp cheddar or the white cheddar, right? Cube, you put that in there, and you put some more shredded on there, you put some butter so you know it won't be dry, and then you layer it, you keep layering it, and then on the top, I left a little bit of shredded cheese. I used a mouch ch cheddar and the sharp cheddar and I think some Kobe Jack on there and a, a, oh, an Italian um, one. Put that on there. Boom! Mac and cheese, baby. Now it's sitting in the oven waiting for probably 30-40 minutes before I started the video so it was in there for about 10 minutes. Start that in there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see how it looks. Let's see, let's see how it looks. Let's see, let's see how it looks. 
All right, y'all. But yeah, I got that in there. Um, I'm just now still waiting for sweet potatoes. Waiting for my baby's, my fur baby's uh, chicken. She gonna have her little Thanksgiving too. And the greens are still cooking. Greens take forever. So I have that in my little stove top crock pot. Y'all know about this. This is the old, your grandmama's pan. Grandma's <laughs> pan that she used to make everything we love. I love these kind of pans. I don't know. They just cook so well. But they cook slow too, so. <laughs> That's on there. I'm waiting. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay? Stay tuned. Stay tuned, 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 stay tuned.